This is a uh, lighter, an electronic one or electric one, and the buttons on this are extremely difficult to depress. You really want to, uh, really want to press down with force. Here's a hack to have the button much, much easier to depress. Uh, this works for this kind of lighters, which are not refillable. I have another one which looks a little bit similar. And also I have another one which is refillable. It looks different and this one is not going to work for it. So let's just look for this ones. You may want to use a tiny, tiny screwdriver like this. And just insert it at the bottom here and just lift on both sides. So you see that small hole here. Just lift it to detach this bump and then slide this metal cap up. When you do so, keep the lighter like that. Do not bend it because you'll have bits of plastic that will drop and you cannot put them back in place. So keep it this way and lift this thing gently. It looks like this. And when you put it back in place, you may want to, may want to crush it a little bit to sit it tight and uh, just uh, flip it down and lock it. You see these holes here on both sides. Then remove this button and then careful with, like I said, with the plastic pieces here. These are two pieces which are tricky to replace, put back correctly. So keep your finger on top of them, just like that. And then flip the lighter to remove the piezo part. And you notice there's a big spring. Again, keep the lighter vertical. I'll show you how to put this back in place if you ever drop them. And this is basically what happens is you have a big spring, which is really, really stiff to depress. There is also a small washer here, a metal one between the spring and the plastic. Simply remove this washer, discard the spring, toss them all together. You don't need them. And then put back the piezo. Look how it sits. It sits with the metal piece in front. So replace it without the spring. Drop it in there, place back this button, which will go, you notice it has kind of a, like a T. The T goes inside this piece here. There's a plastic piece. Be sure to match it correctly right there. You see how it sits? And then put back the metal top, whatever name is. Just slide it like this and then check it out much easier to depress look at this it's not it's not like a child is not going to depress it a small kid because this is a safety thing but it's so so much easier to repress than before and you absolutely don't need that spring in there sometimes the spring is bigger you can replace if you want if you have a like a, a pen or something like this with spring inside you can cut a small piece of that spring, which is much softer than this one, the same size, and just put it inside the lighter. But I can tell you that without spring is the best option. Now, this one, it's a different model. You notice the big metal piece on top of it. And also it's refined. No, I'm not sure if this is refined, Paul. Maybe it's not. Let's assume it's not, but it's a completely different inside. This part is very difficult to remove and you can break inside the plastics. But I did remove on this one just to show. And it's not exactly easy to put back in place either. Let's just pop it from there. Now it looks like this. Actually, this is the burning thing. You have a button and I did remove it before. This is the piezo part of it. And this piezo does not have a, a spring at the bottom. The spring is inside. It's not possible to remove it. So it just sits in there and it will stay hard to depress. It's a bit annoying to put these things back in place. And that's not the matter for this video. So I'll try not to uh, maybe remove it in the first place. There's like a small metal tab that goes in there. It's anyhow, that's not the point here. Uh, let's see if you remove, I have another one, this one will show better. If you remove those plastic, those plastic bits, but it's better not to, actually I'm not going to show you how to put it back in place. 
basically if you drop the plastic pieces inside I would recommend get another lighter right and do it right the next time keep your finger there so you don't drop them and just remove the spring because it's uh, one dollar or so it doesn't matter if you if uh, one doesn't work you just get another one so this is the problem with them it's really stiff and sometimes even stiffer than this oh this one this one some because they into the uh, the piece that's inside them there's also a spring inside here that will stay there you cannot remove it so some of them are going to be easier to depress while other are going to be a little bit more difficult to depress but removing the spring it really helps the matter okay and you can do it really quick it's just very fast to do it when you get the idea